Hi everyone, it's Dan Rowe from Maritime Geothermal, makers of Nordic heat pumps. Today we're going to take an in-depth look at one of our newest products available, the High Temperature Water to Water Heat Pump, or WH series. This heat pump is a bit of deviation from your standard water to water geothermal unit in that it uses a higher temperature source to make higher temperature water. Uh, that is, both the outdoor and indoor side temperatures are shifted higher. So if you have a warmer source available, this heat pump can heat water for some heating distribution systems that previously couldn't be served with a heat pump. For example, uh, hot water baseboards and cast iron radiators. Uh, let's take a closer look at this WH series and how it differs from other Nordic water-to-water -water heat pumps. So first, what is a water-to-water -water heat pump? Uh, a water-to-water -water heat pump is a device that takes heat from a lower temperature liquid, usually a ground loop, and puts that heat in higher temperature water, usually for uh, use in space heating. Uh, the possible range of water temperatures uh, on both the source and sink sides are determined by the characteristics of the refrigerant used, uh, specifically its pressure-temperature relationship. So uh, what kind of water-to-water uh, -water heat pumps does Nordic make? Uh, the W series, our geothermal standard that we have manufactured for many years, uh, uses R410A refrigerant. Uh, these use uh, geothermal ground loops uh, as their source. You can use an open loop water well as well, but uh, geothermal ground loops uh, are usually designed for a coldest uh, winter temperature of around 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, hot water temperature for hydronic heating with the W series is limited to about 120 degrees Fahrenheit or uh, 49 degrees Celsius. Uh, the WH series, uh, this new series I'm introducing, uh, instead of standard 410A refrigerant, it uses R134A refrigerant, just like in your car air conditioner. Uh, this has the effect of shifting the range of both the source and sink temperatures up. So uh, you need a source uh, temperature of between 50 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit. That's uh, 10 to 32 degrees Celsius. Uh, this could be process uh, or gray water. It could be the buffer tank of an existing geothermal heating system. Or uh, it could be an open loop water well in warmer climates. Like if you have uh, an incoming well water temperature of uh, 51 degrees Fahrenheit or greater, uh, you're set to go. Uh, on the indoor side, you can achieve uh, water temperatures of 160 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, which is much more comparable to a boiler for, uh, say, retrofits of hot water baseboard or cast iron radiator uh, heating systems. So, um, you, uh, let, let's look at this chart, actually, of uh, the W series and the WH series. Uh, the W series, the geothermal standard, uh, you can see here it has one circuit. Uh, it has a coldest source temperature on the ground side of uh, 25 degrees Fahrenheit and a hottest indoor water temperature of 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, this new WH series uh, has one refrigerant circuit as well. Uh, minimum source temperature of 50 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, but a hottest indoor water temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Now you might say, what if this, uh, uh, this does sound great, but what if I don't have a warm source? Uh, well, upcoming later this year, uh, we have a new WC, WC series coming out, which is a Cascade-style heat pump using two circuits with R134A uh, and R410A. And it will be able to heat water to 160 degrees Fahrenheit using a regular geothermal ground loop as a source. Uh, this unit will have a higher cost due to its two refrigeration circuits, um, but uh, uh, very useful for many applications. Uh, just stay tuned for updates later this year on that one. Um, what about the COP? Uh, the COPs vary a little bit by model size, but in general, uh, using the, the minimum 50 degree or 51 degree Fahrenheit source and heating water to 110 degrees Fahrenheit, you can see here the COP is around 4. Uh, using that same minimum source temperature and heating water to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, the COP uh, does go down to about 2.5 due to the, uh, the large amount of uh, temperature lift being done by the heat pump. Uh, if you increase the source temperature to uh, 80 degrees Fahrenheit or so, you can bump these COPs up to uh, six and a half and four. So uh, very attractive COPs uh, depending on your application. Uh, let's take a closer look at the machine. Uh, the WH series is available now in uh, sizes 25 to 80 or a nominal two to six and a half tons. Uh, there is an additional seven ton WH85 model that's a bit of a special case in that it has double wall heat exchanger for uh, domestic hot water production. 
these models are in uh, non-reversing varieties only, uh, so no cooling and uh, no desuperheaters uh, on these either. They're uh, a special application type machine. Uh, they have the same basic layout as our regular W series. I can rotate it around and show it to you here. Uh, this entails uh, coaxial heat exchangers with uh, Cooper Nickel options, uh, single stage uh, Copeland compressors, uh, scroll compressors. Uh, there's a swing out electrical box for uh, ease of service. You can see here the very good service access. Uh, and this particular model uh, does use our uh, Gen 2 programmable control board and user interface with built-in Aquastat functionality, uh, which doesn't require any external probes to install. Uh, it has display of refrigerant temperatures and pressures without gauges and interfaces with your building control system uh, via BACnet or uh, other protocol. Uh, there is a uh, electronic expansion valve uh, you can see it here, for improved superheat control and uh, maximizing the uh, heat pump capacity and water temperature. Uh, the uh, compressor is, uh, uh, as, as is standard with us, uh, is uh, double isolated for noise suppression and there's a suction accumulator for added compressor protection along with, of course, a filter dryer and sight glass. Uh, so that's the, uh, the end of this brief tour. I hope you found it, uh, this overview interesting. The WH Series heat pump is available now for purchase and you can contact us through our website for information on pricing and lead times. Uh, to stay up to date on this heat pump and the other models we're releasing in 2015, you can connect with us on Twitter at NordicGHP, uh, on Facebook at Nordic Heat Pumps, or you can sign up for our newsletter on our website. Uh, thank you for listening.